Hey guys, FireJ here, continuing Earthbound. In the last episode, we got to Tucson. And in this episode, we're going to be wondering what the heck was that dream? Now, um, to activate that dream, you just need to go and sleep somewhere after you get the first sanctuary. I was going to show it in this episode while I was playing, but uh, you get the idea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? It is the photography guy! Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. It's ready? Say, fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Okay. Uh, but, uh, for now, I want to go into the cycle shop. And believe me, this is one of the most useless shops in the game. Uh, but anyway. This is the cycle shop, punk sure. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'd really be popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. You know, I know a lot of shops that could be like this. Do you want to rent one? Sure. I know I said that a little late, but anyway. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Now here's the downsides. You know that two people can't ride on the Bond bicycle, so of course three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Do you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Kind of bears riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Yeah, that pretty much limited everything. Especially coming up soon. But I might as well show off the bicycle while I have it. I like to ride my bicycle, I want to ride my bike, I like it, want to like my bicycle, I want to like my bike. I'm gonna race it, I'm gonna race it, I'm gonna race it, aw, oh, I'm beating. Alright, I'm gonna get off of that, because believe me, it is useless. Ugh, I can't believe it. Alright, and here we got the department store, and it is a lot bigger than a drugstore. Alright, so, let's withdraw a little bit of cha-ching. There we go, 300 sounds good. Uh, I could sell a few of my items, and now that I think about it, I think I will. I will return this cookie I bought from you. Yeah, three dollars, no big deal. Nah, nah, I'll be good. Um, if the status, like HP and PP look different right now, it's because I tried to record this once before and I failed. Uh, but I guess I can come over here and see what you got for sale. This is the burger joint, like we've seen before. And I'll just buy me a hamburger. And I don't have any orders, so smile, smile, and go away. What I want to do, though, is come up here, because this is where you can get the armor and all that. Okay. So, gonna come up here, talk to the guy. I'll buy... The t-ball bat won't do anything. The frying pan. That's one thing I want to get. Even though I can't equip it, I will be using it. Alright, so then we'll buy... Do not get the slingshot. It is worse than the yo-yo. Just avoid it. Just, just avoid it. All right, I'll get another cheap bracelet. Oh, yeah, I guess that... No, don't buy the other one. Surprisingly enough, you need both of them. Um, then I can get a ribbon. I can't equip it once again, but I could use it. That should be it. Now I'm going to come over here. And I am gonna buy me a teddy bear! Now, what this thing will do, it will actually be like a decoy for enemies. So I just decided to get a little few things to get ready for something that's coming up soon. Yeah, and that's about it. So let's go down the escalator and check out Tucson a little bit. Got a few people here, I'm just gonna avoid them. I know some of them probably have funny conversations, but eh, I just... It's a big city, okay? I just want to get this taken care of it. What is it with all the traffic? Here we got the Chaos Theater, which will be coming into a plot issue later on. And up here, we got a house. And a kid. And a house. And a car. And a dead end. Like I said, I could check out these things. There's probably something in them that I don't know about, but eh, 
Not a big deal. Here's the hospital, which, truth be told, I think hospitals are useless. I know it's calling me weird, it's calling me bad, but I think hospitals are useless in this game. Down here we got more houses. A sign about Tucson. Down here we got a dog. I like talking to these guys. There was a kidnapping. Believe me, even though I'm just a dog. Woof. All right, a lot of these guys are gonna be talking about the kidnapping of Paula. Now, some are saying it's a rumor. I don't know at this point, but I guess not a lot of people would. All right, down here we got something orange kid and apple kid. Huh. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, is there really anything to do in this town right now? Oh, oh, jeez, enemy, enemy. We got the annoying old party man. All right, is attacking and yeah, not too bad. But you attack the teddy bear. Uh, that's reeling. What the heck? Reeling? What is that? Oh, why is he attacking the teddy bear? Oh well, we took care of him. Also, I had to re-level up everything, so... It's probably gonna give me, let me guess... Oh, wow. Yeah, shield alpha, but... Did that happen before? My voice just cracked. But did that happen before? That seems like a lot! Oh, and there he is again. And I just got back attacked. Not my best choice. And he's just reeling. And he's just reeling. And he's wobbly. I wonder what he's been doing. Well, either way, he's sober now. Alright, anyway, what I was trying to go for was down there would be the tunnel to the next town, Threed. However, we can't go through that because there's spooky ghosts. Now we got the cranky lady. And she scowled at us and we got our guts down by three. I don't like it when she scowls. And she has a big grin on her face even though she's angry. And that should do it. Yep, back to normal. Nice. We're getting a lot of XP from these guys. Oh man, but I know there's one more enemy down here. Magical ball fly. Sparkly, floatily. Alright, so I'm gonna go back up here. I kind of wasted our time going down there anyway, but I was just trying to do something. Uh, let's go in here and talk to Apple Kid. Oh, trash can. Gotta check those. There's a broken machine. And we got too much, so no big deal. Uh, I was sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. Ew. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Sure. Um, I can give him a cookie. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Uh, sure, why not? I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use 200 bucks. Uh, it's pushing it, but alright. Alright. Oh, wait. What the heck? Why are we blocked out? I'm scared, I'm scared! I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Here we got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Alright, this item. It is going to be useful. Trust me on this. This receiver phone is going to be useful. Okay, I lost my finger in there for a second. Um, go to the receiver phone and you can use it. However, it only receives calls and we can't make any out of it. Oh, well, no big deal. Uh, let's talk to Orange Kid now. Oh, this place looks a lot cleaner. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running short on cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine. That will really help in your peaceful rest valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help finance the project? Sure. Oh, goody, would it be okay to get $200 to buy materials? No. Um, I remember this part. Orange Kid won't give you anything. Useful. 
I'll get to the point where he'll give us what we invested for later on, and you'll see what I mean. I could continue with the game, but for now, I want to go to Polestar. Uh, here we got a preschool-like area. Whistle, whistle anywhere, it makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother, I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula, she has a guardian angel, it seems. Hmm. Then who are you? So you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miracle powers, but they're just leeches. So are you from TV station or what? Not that I know of. To meet you or not to meet, you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness? You're the one that was in Paula's dream? You will save the world? Let me go go, Paula! I think we're starting to learn about that dream we had. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Not after I do a little peeping. Uh, let's see, what's behind this door? A present! A teddy bear, but I already have one, so it's kind of useless, so we can get that one later. Alright, time to continue with the way I'm going to end this episode off. Alright, going to come outside. I said outside. And we got a cat up on the roof. I don't know how to get up to him. Alright, so we're going to come to Berkland Park. Here's pretty much like a flea market. You can buy a lot of things. Um, this guy over here will sell condiments. What these will do is um, whenever you eat an item while you have a condiment in your inventory, that condiment will be used automatically. Now, depending on the condiment, it'll either heal you more or heal you less. Like, okay, for example, say you got a cookie and then you put ketchup on it. That wouldn't be a good combination and lower the HP recovery. So yeah, that's the explanation of that. What do you sell? Everdread has always watched over Brooklyn Park. Who's Everdread? That's why we can't, don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Alrighty, what do you have to say? I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only ninety-eight dollars. Please buy it. Uh, I don't have that much money anyway. Um, is there a place I can sell something? He likes pots, but I really want the tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. I hope not. Hey, Mon, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy my junk. So what would you like, Mon? Uh, the copper bracelet looks good, but I do not have that money right now. Well, you're straining with too many things. No, I'll buy things you don't need, Mon. Uh, what can I sell? Um, cold remedy. I'll take it. It's free. Or er, free. All right, so... I could... Let's get the for sale sign so I can explain it. Alright, there we go. Now, what this will do... Okay, I'll use it right now. Okay. We use the for sale sign. You can use this pretty much anywhere. And a customer is heading this way. Oh no, oh no, run away, run away, run away. Oh, he caught me. Or she. So I thought I'd stop by. What are you peddling? Um... I guess we can try and sell the hamburger. Oh, it's seven bucks. Uh, sure. Yeah, you can use a for sale sign to sell some of your junk. I guess it's kind of useful. World's greatest ruler. Okay, here's a little bit of a rumor. The ruler and protractor in this game are said to increase your IQ and a later character's chance of building something. That rumor has been proved false and it has been proved true. So it's really hard to tell if it's true or not, but I'm going to try and avoid it. Uh, how much money do I got? Uh, $10, yeah, I can't really do much. PSI life up so I can do, get ready for this. Alright, time to end it off. Oh, shoot, this wasn't what I saw coming. <laughs> Why don't we turn out later until we lock horns? Here we got Everdread. This is the current thief that watches over the Berglund Park. Now, Everdread can be a little bit cautious. I mean, he doesn't really do much damage, but he can steal your items. So, just an early warning. So, let's get him down. Okay, 20 
six, and he does a biting attack? He bit my teddy bear! Uh, I guess I can show off shield. Oh, crap, he's attacking. Alright, shield alpha! Alright, now we're protected by the shield of light. Alright, why didn't that lower anything? Oh, crud, I don't think this is gonna go too well. I'm gonna use life up. This is... I am making this way worse than it should look. Because truth be told, it shouldn't be this hard. Or it's not even that hard. He does a big grin. And biting attack. Why is he attacking so often? He usually never attacks. Okay, life up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, that was close. Big grin on his face. Why won't he die? He keeps attacking. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, he's turned back to normal, so we won. Well, we gained experience off of him. Offense by one, HP by one. That's it. Yes, I'm Everdred, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about that girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit I kidnapped her, though. They said that me, her, going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Whoa. Wait a minute. Chubby boy. It couldn't be, could it? No, it couldn't be. Well, either way you look at it, we gotta go save that Paula girl before she becomes the sacrifice we've been hearing about. But we'll be impatient and wait until the next episode. Ah, uh, bag lady, run for the bag lady. In the next episode, we go find Paula. Okay, I'll see you guys next episode.